This gun is bigger than Ben. This gun is bigger than Barry. Gotcha. This is Terminus Tactical, and this is the HDR-50. Hi, and welcome to Terminus Tactical. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this beast. This is the Umarex HDR-50. Now the HDR-50 is part of the Umarex T4E line, which stands for Training for Engagement. Now this is a 50 cal revolver. It's not the first time Umarex have used this style of revolver. In fact, it's been seen before in the Umarex Tornado, the Umarex Elite Force H8R, and the Umarex Brodax .177, just to name a few. So first, let's take a look at the markings on the revolver. So on the right side, we have the Umarex branding, followed by Cal 0 0.50. On the bottom of the grip, we have the Training for Engagement branding, which is mirrored on the other side. On the left-hand side of the barrel, we have the Training for Engagement branding again, and the HDR50 model name. So we have two accessory rails mounted on the HDR50. One is on the top, mounted between the rear and the front sight. The other is at the bottom, underneath the muzzle. Now these can be used to attach various accessories, like a red dot sight or a scope on the top. And if you prefer, you could mount a laser, or even a grip to the bottom. The HDR50 has no back strap, no hammer, no cylinder release, and the ejector rod at the front is actually used for releasing your six round magazine. There is mild stippling on the grip, but not too much. And it doesn't matter how you hold the HDR50. Like JLo's rear, this is always going to look big and sexy. So let's take a closer look at the magazine. So to load the magazine, push the ejector rod across, up, and lock into place. Push the magazine out, place the magazine face down with the bolt side up, and slot your ammunition right into place. So making sure your 50 cal ammunition has been pushed cleanly into the chambers on the magazine, insert the magazine back into the revolver, ease the spring on the injector rod, and she's almost ready to go. So seeing as this revolver was specifically made for self-defense, it does come with a small party trick, and that is right here in the grip of the gun. So let's take a look at how this mechanism works. Using the provided hex key, you simply unscrew the bottom and pull it out. You load your CO2 capsule in backwards, you replace the strike button, tighten, and strike hard here. So when the silver rod with the red band pops out, she's now live and ready for action. So let's take a look at what actually happens inside the HDR50 when the bottom button is struck. As you can see, there's a little pin inside. When you strike the bottom, that pin pushes up, which in turn punches the seal on your CO2 capsule, which in turn creates a CO2 reservoir inside here. What makes the HDR50 that perfect choice for home defense out of any other pistol or rifle that you can buy out there today? So let's start with the fact that when you really need it, it will always be ready to use and will not have run out of CO2. Neither will you have to undo the grip, ram a CO2 capsule in there and tighten it up so it's ready to use. So there are two versions of the Umarex HDR50 that are actually legal to own in the UK. That is the 7.5 joule version and the 11 joule version. However, if you decide to purchase and install any of the power-up valves that are available on eBay and beyond, you will be breaking the law. Now, although in this episode, I don't intend to cover the laws and legalities in owning an Umarex HDR50 in the UK, I will, however, cover that in a completely separate video. Let's talk about ammunition. And believe me, there's plenty of it out there. Solid rubber balls, to steel balls, all the way to skirted slugs, which of course in the HDR50 are highly advisable if you're looking for accuracy, because the HDR50 does not come with a rifled barrel. But look, let's be realistic. Does a revolver that's been designed purely for home defense in a CQB environment really need a rifled barrel? No, because I know that the longest distance in my home is from the top of my stairs to the bottom. So unless you're this guy, say hello to my little friend, with a staircase like this,
I really don't think you're going to be having any of the issues associated with needing a rifle barrel. So, let's head on out to the range and see just how much devastation these balls can cause. Filthy minds. These balls. So we're going to send all six shots down range. Three into the watermelon, one into that full can of Carling Lager and one into each of the pink buckets down here on the ground. She's live, let's go. Now considering our chosen ammunition was just these 50 cal rubber balls, I think the damage that the HDR50 has done to the watermelon is pretty impressive. And it's really not hard to see where all three shots have entered this melon. I can tell you now, I really wouldn't want to be hit in my melon by one of these. So that's it from Terminus Tactical today. If you'd like to see more on the HDR50, then just leave a comment on this video. And as rubbish as this always sounds, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Then I'll continue to make more great content to save you from having to watch the rest of the crap out there on YouTube. Enough love to you all.